Hey everyone, it's Christopher Robin. Tonight is another toy review I'm doing on the one, the only, this is Sting Elite Collection <clears throat> from when he made his debut on Monday Night Raw back uh, over, what, a year and a half ago in 2014. I picked him up a few weeks ago and I had to have him because I just love the whole colors of the red and the black and the white. It just goes nicely. The only thing I would pick on it immediately, right off the bat, is here he is in his attire for Raw, but on the sides, here he is wearing his black and white, not the red. Maybe it was a mistake on the packaging department. Who knows? Uh, but hey, we'll look at the back. There he is again. His whole little short little bio, if you can see that, I'm showing it up close personal. You know, his accomplishments with WCW. Uh, there's no mention of TNA, of course, because it belongs to a different, you know, it's a different company and different entity. Uh, Ring and Tire 2015, which... Very true. Uh, yep, the quick little bio. If any of you who live around, maybe the IRI living, I live in, he's going to be coming to the Webster Town Hall this Saturday. Don't know what to the extent he'll be doing, if he'll be wrestling, or he'll just do the whole walk in the ring and swing around the bat and act all, you know, the way he does. But if any of you who live in the area, check it out. Big time wrestling. Go right ahead. But let's, uh, well, you can see he's already kind of pre-opened, so let's just open him. There goes the package. Standard little plastic thing. Oh, God, he's in there tight. Pull him out. Get rid of that. Okay, comes. We'll just basically uh, get him a little closer right here. Here, I, th I. I am short one light today, so if you see shadows, it's because I'm short of light. But then I, maybe I can just adjust this, make him a little brighter. Okay. But yeah, here he is, Sting. There's a the figure. I'm trying to zoom in and show you as best I can what he looks like. The paint is really good. I like the likeness. They nailed it. I say Mattel, since they picked up the license for the WWE wrestling toys. Well done. Jack Pacific. They were like a hit and miss with some of the figures. I have a few. I have the Ultimate Warrior, the first version that came out of him. It was okay, but I had to have it back in, uh, I believe, was it 04 or 05? One of the two. Had to buy him. Hulk Hogan. I got a Roddy Piper, who, dead on. Yes. But, um, this... See the standard little thing, the jacket, it doesn't, you see it just, his arms stay stiff. Uh, I believe you can get the jacket, oh, yes you can, you can get the jacket off, but, uh, you know what? It, I don't want to take the jacket off, because it looks like it's going to be a pain to put it back on. You know, a little bendable joints, his hand. I noticed about the wrestling figures, all of them have one gripped hand, and one hand to put a weapon in. Sometimes I didn't like that, because why don't they have both hands that are you know, got grips so you can put, you know, say a, some kind of weapon in this one and maybe grab a wrestler by the arm with this one. That's just my opinion. Got the whole attire, the whole joints, got the whole circulation going on with the whole really bendable joints. Um, here's the design of the Scorpion, the red and the paint job. There's no skid, you know, skids. There's no, like, mistakes on it. It's all well done and all that. For any of you who watched WrestleMania this past weekend, can I say, better than last year. I enjoyed it a lot more. What killed for me real quickly last year was this match between him and Triple H. I, like a few other Sting fans, were expecting him to win it, but at the end, the way it went down and he lost, I just shook my head and said, Jesus, Vince McMahon, you had to get the last laugh and you had to put that final nail in the coffin of WCW. You had to just make... I mean, let's be honest. It's fake. Wrestling is fake, and if any of you start to insist to me it's real, then I think you need to just go back and crawl, sit down in your basement and live with your mom and dad and just don't even bother because you just... Yeah, never mind. But uh, I wasn't too happy with that. That's the only downfall of last year. But this is about a figure review. My review is, I think he's, it's a pretty cool looking figure. I know there's a, uh, 
uh, Defining Moments one, which he's like got the whole classic attire from the WCW Starcade. But I'm not paying. I think it goes for like 25 bucks. I'm all set. I'd rather pay. I think this was 10, 11 dollars. I'd rather pay this. Am I happy with this figure? Yes, I am. Overall, let's see the baseball bat. Kind of a little bent because they don't make the plastic like they used to. There he is. Stamp so you can have him like this, you can have him like that, like this. You just have him standing overall like this. Or you can just zoom into his face. But you see the detail and all. See the then again, maybe the shadow, the whole half shadow and half you know, note shadow actually works for him right now. <laughs> But that is, well, that is it for my, another review I'm doing. I will try a little better. I'm going to get better at doing, like, different types of, like, angles and that. But for now, this is Christopher Robbins signing off. Please subscribe, comment below, watch, don't watch, uh, do whatever you feel. Uh, if not, enjoy.